What's up everybody? Are you ready to get flat abs? Yes, it is. All or nothing abs. Now, if you have enjoyed anything over the last seven, eight years that I've been part of YouTube or anything that you have followed, there is one thing that you guys have got to do right now. My new book, It Takes Grit, is now available for pre-sale. Ah, so excited. I have put absolutely everything into this. You're going to love this book. It is a full, no BS guide to leveling up your life, living an empowered and free life. Okay, everybody. So we're going to come down to the ground. Alpha you are doing the modified, modified, modified version today. We are going to start off with the Russian twist. So you're going to have your heels on the ground. We're going to lean back and we're going to go from side to side. So this is going to really work those oblique muscles. You want to come back as far as you can and then bring that head down to the side. Three, two, one, let's go. So if you are bringing your head up all the way up here, you're not going to get that full range of motion and we want to to maximize every single rep. That's why these workouts are going to be different because I'm going to give you exercises to really work those muscle groups as much as you can in the time that we have together. So lean back a little bit further and this series, whoo, we're all about grit and determination because we got 40 seconds of exercise, a 15 second rest and boom, we are going to power through this because I'm going to teach you endurance, resilience, and we're going to keep on going. So look down to the mat. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and come all the way down to the ground. Bring your heels and your feet together. You're going to come down into a butterfly reach through. So tuck those hips underneath so we're not arching our back. And all you're going to do is you're going to bring up through your chest in three, two, one, let's go. So tuck those hips underneath. It's not going to be a really massive movement. It's going to be a very small, slight crunch. So just depending on how flexible you are will depend on how those legs out to the side. But if you're really relaxed, you're going to bring that back off the floor. So always tuck those hips underneath. It will bring your knees a little bit closer together, but let's keep on powering through. Little, just little tiny pulses. Lift up as much as you can, bringing those shoulders up off the ground and then reaching those arms forward. That's it. Try and touching in between your legs Woo! and lift up a little bit higher. We got this. Inhale through your nose, exhale out. Let's work those ab muscles and let's go for three, two, one, and gently release all the way up over onto your front. So we're going to go into a high plank with lifting those legs up at the back, okay? So, Alpha, you're kind of in the way here, but never mind, we're going to hold here and we're going to extend one leg up at a time. So make sure both hands are directly underneath your shoulders and you're going to lift up. Option number two, you're going to extend one leg out at a time. Just lean forward just a little bit. So everybody can do these workouts, okay? Because we've got modified versions for every single one. So all you have to do is do your best. If you're like, oh my goodness, this is too hard, just have to keep on practicing. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to do it. You've got less than 15 seconds to go here, so let's keep on pushing through. Inhale through your nose and exhale out. We have got this. Let's stay nice and strong for five, four, three, two, one, and release all the way down. Just like that, gone through three exercises. We're going to take it into our magic mic move. Oh, yes, we are. So all we're going to do is we're going to come onto our front, we're going to twist here and we're going to take it all the way to the other side and then twist those obliques. So kind of come into that high plank and then twist over the other side and bring that arm up. Oh yes. So hold those abs in nice and tight as you come through to the center and then lift up. Option number two, you're going to come down onto the ground and do the same thing, but just have your knees on the ground. All right, Elsie, thank you for a little bit more space here. All right. Stay nice and strong. Magic mic move. Oh yes, you are dancing through every single move that you have got right now. We're going to breathe in through our nose, exhale out. And by the time we have done this, our abs are going to be so on fire. Oh, we're going to see those, oh, that six pack popping through. Now let's keep going for three, two, and one. All right. We're going to lie all the way down onto the ground. You're going to bring your legs on the edges of your mat, your hands on the edges too. And all we're going to do is we're going to bring up and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to release it down. So we're going to do a starfish hold. So you might need to bring your legs up a little bit higher to make sure the back is on the ground. Keep holding for as long as I say. Let's go here for five, four, three, two, one. And release down. Take it one more time. Tugging those hips underneath. No gap. Bring those arms up a little bit behind your head. Lower those legs down for five, four, three, two, one. One, and release all the way down. Take it again, lift up, tucking those hips underneath. Bring those 
those arms up even further over your head. Extend those legs for five, four, three, two, one. Release all the way down and breathe. All right, nice work, everyone. And we're gonna take it into some bird dog pulses. So bring your knees at 90 degrees, extend those arms up to the sky. We're gonna drop it down and add a little pulse in here. Tuck those hips really far underneath, pulling your belly button into the ground and let's go. Little dip and then back to the center. Now squeeze those glutes. Think about pulling your belly button in towards the spine. Every single rep, as you get back to here, think squeeze. And then hold that squeeze as you extend that arm and leg back. Now, modified version, take it to your legs one at a time. Boom, or try your arms one at a time. All right, we're gonna be able to work up to do the full exercise. And if you wanna bring your leg out here, that's fine. You just wanna make sure that that back never comes off the ground. Okay, breathe through this. We're doing so good, everybody. Just keep on going through for five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, we're gonna take it into some leg drop circles. All right, so you're gonna lie all the way down on the ground. You're gonna extend those legs up. We're gonna take it into a nice circle and then bring it all the way up to the top. So don't worry about how big the circle is. If it's right here, that is great because we do not want that back coming off the ground. So come down as low as you can and lift all the way back up again. Hands on the mat and squeeze, lift all the way up to the sky. So breathe in, nice big breath in through your nose and ha, ah, exhale everything out. Shoot those legs up nice and high to the sky. You've got that, dip down a little bit further, point those toes, lift straight up and let's try and get those legs lower down to the ground, tucking those hips underneath as you come all the way up to the sky, releasing that chest. Ah, oh, no tension in the shoulders, in the neck, or in your face, just smiling through this. Take it one more time, lift all the way up to the sky, and three, two, one, and release. Okay, we'll take it into some oblique crunches. So you're gonna come over onto your side, and all you're gonna do is with a straight leg, you're gonna crunch up. That's all we're gonna do, right? So, legs on top of each other, and three, two, one, let's go. So it's just a little crunch, that's it. So lift up, and then crunch into the side. Breathe through this. Modified version, you're gonna come here and take this crunch, or if you want to, you can take it onto the side and crunch up like this. This is just gonna make it a little bit more challenging. So straighten those legs, hips on top of each other, and take it through that crunch. Oh yes, breathe through this. Inhale through your nose and exhale out. We've just got a few more reps here. Let's keep on plowing through nice and strong. We have got less than 10 seconds to go here. Give me a few more reps for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And guess what? We're gonna do the same the other side. Yes, we do. Alfie, this does look a little bit like an oblique crunch. Yes, crunch and crunch. That's it, that's Alfie's version of doing it. Okay, so let's take it over to the other side. In three, two, one, let's go. So you wanna slightly bring your legs in front of each other. Alfie's like, I am too hot. It is very hot here today. He's probably gonna go in the shade now. So lift up and squeeze those abs together. So crunch into the side. <sighs> Inhale through your nose and exhale out. That's it, lift up and breathe through it. We're doing so good, everybody. Keep this going, 20 seconds left to go here. All you have to do is keep on following along. The results are at the end of the workout. They're not gonna be right now. With consistency, 80% nutrition, 20% is the fitness, which is why you need the meal plan too on the app. Lift everything up, three, two, one, and release. Okay, take it all the way over. We're gonna take it into a full sit up with a straight leg this time. I'm gonna to touch the opposite side, opposite leg. So you're gonna go all the way down here, lift up. I'm gonna to touch that side. I'm gonna come all the way down, touch the other side. So either arms over the top of your head or bring those hands to your middle. So pulling those abs nice and tight, lift you up and touch the other side. I want your feet flexed about hip width distance apart. So just try this out and with the flex foot, it's actually gonna help bring you up a little bit higher. So all the way down, lift all the way up, touch over to that opposite side, slowly, slowly, slowly down you go and lift all the way up to the sky. That's it, looking strong everybody. Come down to the ground and let's go. We've got 10 seconds left here. Let's see if we can get a couple more reps in here. Breathe in and exhale. Let's go for three, two, and one. Okay, all right, coming back to the center, we're gonna take it into a V-sit. Oh, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit here. We're gonna take it into a V-sit, we're gonna flex the foot and we're gonna bring one leg 
in the knee in towards us. Option number two, you're gonna bring your hands right here, okay? So it's all you're gonna do, so lift up throughout the chest, lean back a little bit further for me, that's it. Give yourself a smile, I'm here with you, I can feel the burn, I know what it's like, but we are gonna keep on going. No matter what, you can finish this. No matter what your brain or one side of your brain is saying right now, we can keep on going. So lift up through the chest, inhale and exhale. Lean back a little bit further. 15 seconds to go. Come on, do not quit now. This is where the results are made. This is where the discipline happens. And let's count down together for the last five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, you guys did so good. Check out this next workout I've got for you in our series, our summer oh, Hit Takes Grit series. You guys are gonna love it. Have fun and I'll see you on our next workout. Bye everyone. Take it over to the other side. Woohoo, let's stay nice and strong everybody. Oh yes, this one is a killer. This one is burning the abs. This is what we wanted, right? We wanted to push ourselves a little